Hey, y'all. So, what is this, you ask? It's a jicama. Never cooked with it before, but what are we going to do today? We're going to make some jicama fries. I'm so excited. So, the recipe I'm following, I found it on Pinterest, of course. It says that you should start by peeling with the vegetable peeler. Y'all, this was not an easy process by any means. I mean, it took like the right angle of the vegetable peeler and just holding it firmly. It was a lot. It was not easy at all. I had to end up using a knife, honestly, because it just, I was like, okay, this is not as easy as a carrot or a potato, but I got it done. Good as it's going to get. Um, I've never had a jicama, but they say that the fiber, fiber skin is edible, but it is super, super fibrous, not fun to chew. And you can see some of it is like peeling off. It was hard using the vegetable peeler, so I just basically attached the knife on certain parts and just peeled off. That was way easier. So now we're going to cut it in half and then cut it into slices. The inside, it's kind of like, it's, it's very moist. It's like an apple, very crunchy. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn into french fries not really sure but hopefully it works out okay so i only used half the jicama because i really don't need that many fries so i'm going to save this other half for later this is what they look like um up close can you see them this is what they look like um nothing special and you can tell they're they're starchy by the knife from me cutting them you know like if you were cutting a potato but these are not as starchy as a potato. That's why they are keto replacement for fries. And you know what? I know where I've eaten jicama at Gloria's. They give you these with any Brazilian meal that you get. Not the Tex-Mex food, but the Brazilian food that you get. I think it's the churrasco meals. Just somewhere in that area. I've had these and they do taste just like fries. I knew I wasn't tripping. So take a bite. It's very crisp, very crunchy, very um, just crisp, like an apple, pretty much like an apple. Um, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it's fibrous because of these, um, those little hairs. So yeah, it's good, I could eat it. Kinda like a fruit and a potato. So, they're all cut up. Now we're going to, according to the recipe, we're going to boil them to soften them. So let's head over to the stove. So in a pot, um, I have water and half a teaspoon of sea salt. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Once we have boiling hot water, we're going to add the jicama and cook for about 10 minutes until it just gets a little soft to the touch. So the water is almost done boiling, but just real quick, just a little conversation in the kitchen. So, <clears throat> Today, I went to Eatsy's, right? And just side note, pretty much every establishment right now, they're requiring you to wear a mask. I am fine with it. I am just fine with it. So I got my salad, I'm leaving out, and I see these two girls walking up to the door. And they're reading like the sign. I didn't even read the sign when I walked in. I just, I always wear my mask. I don't care where I am, if they say to wear it or not. I guess one of them didn't have a mask and the other one didn't. And I guess they wanted to have a little lunch. Well, the one who didn't have the mask turned beet red and no one even turned her around. She just was shamed because she didn't have her mask. And she, I guess, you know, when you think that people are looking at you or like people notice, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that noticed. I was like, mm-hmm. You thought you'd go in there with no mask. And it's a food place. It's an establishment where they serve food. No, ma'am. This is the new norm. Wear your mask. Bring it with you everywhere. And then her friend, I guess she said, well, boo, I'm still hungry. So I'm going to go inside. So I'll see you later. <laughs> so the friend went back to the car. She went inside and got her food. And I'm just thinking that was actually a calm situation. I've seen people go to like, for instance, Taco Cabana. They didn't have a mask on and they were like, 
sorry, sir, we can't serve you. And I've heard of people getting mad at establishments for denying them entry because they don't have a mask on. Yes, that's correct. You can't come in. No mask, no entry. Sorry, but not sorry. Get into it, y'all. This is serious. Put your mask on. It's just one little simple move. That's it. You're done. And just do what you need to do. But no, you think that you're just safe and you know you can't get sick. Okay. All right. Let's get to this boiling water. Okay, so I have my boiling water. You can see it right there. We're going to drop the jicama in there very slowly. And so we're going to let these boil for about 10 minutes until soft. So I'm gonna put on a timer and I'm, I think I'm gonna put a top on them, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, they're gonna get soft. So I will be right back. All right, so these have been boiling for about 12 minutes. Um, just from stirring them, they have softened up. So what I'm gonna do is drain them, let them cool, and then we're going to season them up and place them on the pan to cook. So I can definitely tell that they've softened up because they kind of have a, like a translucent color to them. They're not as white um, from them cooking. So that's a good sign. And y'all, that water was so hot. I tried to pick one up. That steam said, ha, you thought. So letting these cool down a little bit, not too much. Then we're going to season them up with some olive oil and a couple of seasonings. All right, so we're gonna take some extra, <laughs> some extra virgin olive oil and we're going to drizzle it on top. I tend to over pour sometimes with olive oil because it comes out fast. I think that's enough. All right, and then my brother told me I should keep it simple, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra. Then we're gonna add some salt on here. Then we're gonna do some pepper as well. And a little bit of garlic salt. And last but not least, like I said, we're keeping it simple. I've heard steak seasoning is good on fries. So that's what this is. I'll show you all the ingredients after I finish putting it on top. So that is it. So let's stir. I wish I had some gloves, but I don't. Make sure everything, every fry, every jicama stick piece is coated. Stir, stir, stir. And you know what, honestly, some people are scared of like under seasoning. You can always just sprinkle a little salt on your fries while they're hot and they come out of the oven. Y'all excuse my mother who I just told her that I was taping. But she, you know, this COVID-19, it gets her all just bothered, bless her heart. My gosh, just pray, okay? Let's just pray. All right, so I think we're good. And while I was doing all this, my oven was um, preheating or heating up to 400. All right, so let's lay this on one single layer on my pan. So I have my sheet pan covered with foil. So I'm going to put them on here, single layer. Super simple, quick and easy. Y'all, I really hope these turn out like edible. You know, they smell delicious. And I think um, because they're still kind of warm um, that the seasonings are really, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Strong, fragrant. I didn't realize how much, how many fries I cut up. Whew. 
Almost finished, almost finished. I'm gonna try to squish a couple of these in between some fries. It's not like they're gonna stick to each other. So I just want all of them to fit on one sheet and just bake all of them at the same time. All righty. So I we're gonna put these in the oven and I think we're gonna turn them halfway, but I think we're going to cook them for, I think 15 minutes. When I'm showing you all the seasonings, if I'm wrong, I will correct myself. So these are gonna go in the oven and they're gonna cook. Aren't y'all, are y'all excited as me? Cause I'm excited. So I was right. We're gonna um, cook the fries a total of 30 minutes, 15 minutes on each side. And I just wanted to show you the seasonings I'm using. This is the um, olive oil that I used garlic salt, regular degular salt, black pepper, and steak seasoning. Simple, easy peasy. So hopefully they turn out delicious and lots of flavor. All right, so far they look pretty good. They smell good. They're firm yet soft. So I'm gonna flip these over and they're gonna cook for 15 more minutes. All right, so they're fresh out of the oven. They look crispy on the ends. Um, Y'all, I really hope that these turned out right because my family is going to partake in them. <laughs> so we're gonna be taste testing with this guy. I feel like he's a tough critic and he will definitely tell the truth. So just wait on it. But yes, so 30 minutes cooking time, 400 degrees. Um, hope it did the trick. So this is our taste test. Remember, this is our favorite bartender as well. So he's gonna try the fries. I've had a couple, they're good to me. And I hope he, you can go ahead, keeps it honest with me. The texture's a little off. He got a big one, I'm nervous. It's different. How bad, huh? It was good. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, a little Makes ketchup on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, garlic salt. Just with some ketchup on it. It'll be good. Good texture. Yay! There you go, you guys. See? I wouldn't lie to you, and he wouldn't either.